Abraxas is a very peculiar and interesting mythological figure that has played an important role within many mystical, magical, and Gnostic traditions. Early Christians and church fathers like Irenaeus, Jerome, and Epiphanius couldn't agree whether Abraxas was a god, a demon, or if he was the Gnostic conception of the Archon. Irenaeus believed him to be the ruler of the heavens and the archon slash creator of this world. Jerome and Epiphanius both agree that Abraxas was actually a god. Jerome, theologian famous for the translating of the Bible into Latin, even uses phrases such as the greatest god, the almighty god, and the lord the creator to describe Abraxas. Despite his positive reception by early Christians, Abraxas is considered by the Catholic Church a demon and is even associated with Lucifer. Abraxas is a rooster-headed god with the torso of a man, a whip in his right hand and a shield on his left, with two serpents for legs. The rooster is symbolic of wakeful vigilance and the announcer of the new dawn. The whip is for his four horses that are symbolic of the four elements and four seasons. The shield is a militaristic symbol of protection, and the two serpents are symbols of wisdom, immortality, and the feminine. Abraxas comes from the Greek abrake, and the word abracadabra is believed to have come from his name. If we apply numerology to Abraxas, it comes to 365, a number he is always associated with, and in addition to being the number of days in a year, it is also the number of emanations of God in the spiritual world. Carl Jung stated in his book, The Seven Sermons of the Dead, that Abraxas was actually higher than either the Christian God or the devil, and stood as a symbol that incorporated both entities into a single being. To many Gnostics, Abraxas was the embodiment of God, but due to his ambiguous status, reverence to him was forced underground. Many questions have yet to be answered regarding Abraxas's origins. They are most likely Egyptian. However, his image continues to be a magical amulet and can be found on the old seal of the Knights Templar.